Hey, what's up everyone? It's The Last Uchiha here. Uh, follow me if you want to follow yourselves and hopefully we're going to get there together. It's a new day and it's a new life and uh, it's almost around noon right now and uh, so just doing another one of these vlogs here and uh, today I'm going to show you a couple things. So first of all I'm finishing editing a video that I shot last night pretty late. It's like midnight, 1am, something like that I was shooting, you know what I mean, in the basement. And um, so I actually have to go back to the doctors because my foot is getting worse. It's not getting any better. I was supposed to go last week. I didn't go because uh, the car's still illegal and whatnot. So yeah, uh, there's that. And so today I'm going to be going to the doctors. So that's for sure. And uh, I'm probably going to edit the video a little bit more while I'm at the doctor's place or, or office, I should say, not place. I'm not going to a, a house. I'm going to an office. And um, so yeah. I just wanted to show you right quick, again, my editing program and stuff here. So um, I use Wondershare Filmora. And um, so you can get this online for free. And then I paid like um, some cash or whatever on uh, PayPal. Yeah, on PayPal. And um, like I have a lifetime license with it and it wasn't that expensive it was like under 100 bucks for a lifetime license and so um i can just like i don't know anytime update the software with new things and you know uh, transitions and do hickeys but i don't know all this stuff i'm really bad at computers and i'm not that smart so um but yeah it looks something like this okay so let me show you this is the basic you know gist of the program if you will and so i can upload footage like I'll show you exactly, like I plug in this video camera that I'm talking to you right now on, you know, and uh, it comes over to the computer and it's a lot better than all this sort of stuff that I have down here, these mini DV tapes. I have um, 40 tapes of streetball events and semi-professional basketball games and all sorts of entertainment stuff I used to do here, but they're all mini DV. And so I have to like watch all that shit again if I want to make my mixtape from back in the day. But that's not, that's not going down because that's just too much goddamn time. So, um, what we got here? Well, I mean, if you give me a lot of likes, I'll make it. And there's some pretty crazy stuff on there you've probably never seen before in your life. But it is what it is. It's just so hard to go back. You know, it's easier to go forward in life than it is to go back. So, um, 550, 550. So right now I'm hunting for the right clip that I want to insert, basically. So, uh, yeah, exactly, 551. So I can load it. This is, you know, loading off, uh... A different area of my computer off the photo section onto this project that I'm working on the vlog and then I can just drop it in here see that I just dropped it right in and then I can you know play it or I can crop it this way just by holding the button and I'm cropping out some of the footage you know what I mean till I walk over to the, to the basketball well I'm over at the basketball now so I can just cut it right there so the clip will now start there do things like remove the audio so I take the audio out right and then what I can do is I can drop in my own song or no not my own song but the music that of my choosing you know what I mean and then yeah the hardest thing with making these videos okay is a couple things so shooting them is very difficult because I'm just one person and um, you know it's hard to work out and shoot uh, um, like things at the same time so it's just not that easy um, and then also uh, another thing with that is I used to face problems with uploading because I wasn't as good technically as maybe I, I got to know stuff a little better now and I have an external hard drive to like you know move stuff from my computer and stuff so my computer won't crash and do all those sorts of things um, yeah just over the years I developed habits of getting better at this you know uh, from trial and error and different things and uh, with video editing what takes the longest is just getting everything into the timeline correctly and then when you mess that stuff up or when you have to go back the music and all that editing that you've made before has changed and you have to go back and re-edit it it's really annoying um, I don't really face any rendering problems anymore my computer I've had the same computer since 2010 and it works fine no problems the biggest issue I have is uh, often with YouTube and maybe I'll roll the clip from the other day and I'll just let that play through right now but um, yeah YouTube sucks I fucking hate YouTube and um, I don't know, they just continue to uh, ban people's clips and do all types of stuff for ridiculous reasons, but I don't want to get into that right now. But it, it's definitely difficult. The, the, the platform itself of YouTube is one of the hardest 
challenges I face as a content creator because I have no control over decisions that affect my art and uh, like my channel and my content. So uh, when they decide to block something, you know, worldwide or something like that, I could have spent hours on this thing, 20 hours. And sometimes I'm working with young kids or other people uh, in the video and it's important to get their stuff out. Like, you know what I mean? Because in the case of youth and stuff like that, there are positive messages in a lot of this basketball content that I think is important and helps to support them. And also they can see themselves progressing and um, they really enjoy it. Like they. So yeah, it's not all that, you know, uh, difficult, I guess, making the art. It can be, depending on how challenging and what kind of story you're trying to put together. Like, I'm trying to do uh, the Uchiha Chronicles, which I need to film a couple more scenes for, and I got nobody to help me with, so I can't really continue that right now. But uh, I was working with um, Team Ballers. Shouts out to Team Ballers. Devin, Drayden, Sean, Evan, and all of their friends in the park. And we worked for about five weeks. I filmed maybe four. I thought I filmed five. My camera battery or something. I just screwed up that entire you know, Saturday that we worked out. But, um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of footage. I'm going to put it together in some kind of story arc narrative called the Uchiha Chronicles, and I've been working on it, but I don't have anyone to finish or help me finish the last two scenes that I need to film for it. Um, it's kind of difficult. It's taking a long time to put together. Uh, one of the main reasons for that is, uh, again, the story arc and just putting all this stuff together. But, um, yeah, YouTube's the more difficult challenge when it comes to putting out content and stuff like that, and I really think content creators should have um, a say in their content, you know, how uh, the decisions that affect their content is how uh, decisions about blocking and um, demonetizing and uh, taking stuff off worldwide, you know, that's, that's all, you know, stuff that affects artistry, human cultural development, people's livelihoods, uh, specific communities, cultural expression and stuff like that, and also some of the stuff is like a record, you know, people keep a record of their life for their community sort of stuff. Uh, through YouTube and so when YouTube does shit like that it's just really annoying and they don't need to um, yeah Malcolm X defined segregation in terms of not so much identities or bodies but in terms of communities lacking control of uh, decisions that affect their lives their destinies their resources so I'm just getting my breakfast here and I'm gonna get on my way to the doctor after I eat and uh, I'm actually just watching my boy Rob's game here Windsor Express are playing against the Halifax Hurricanes in Halifax. Some annoying guys talking about selling merch. And, um, yeah, man. Big bodies bumping. Watching the game here. Shouts out to Rob. Against six foot eight power forward Billy White. And he showed no fear knocking down that three. Turnover. Last touch by the Canes on their last possession. You see that replay, and it's down to a four-point lead. Keith Frazier, excuse me, trying to blow by Klinskill. Klinskill's good defense there, and a tough shot. And floater converted by Frazier. That's Frazier. Lost the handle. White in transition. Zimmerman puts it up for three. Shot's no good. Knocked around and picked up by Hubert. So a good look at transition for Zimmerman. Hubert with the flush. Okay, so um, we're here. We're at the doctor's office. It's over just next door there. I'm not parking in the lot, so I don't have to pay the fee for parking in the lot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go see the doctor and stuff. I'm not going to vlog while I'm in there because that would just be weird. And I think having the video camera in the doctor's office would just be awkward for other patients and the people that work there uh, themselves. I used to work at a doctor's office as a clinician. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I understand how it goes. But um, I'm going to be editing in there and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, take care. Hey, so what's up again? Uh, so there's a long wait at the doctor. It's going to take like an hour and a half before I can get in there or so. Uh, I've registered. I left in my health card. The whole works, you know. And uh, now I actually just drove over to the um, police sort of find payment building, which is, you know, a f uh, 
a few buildings over there. I had to park in another lot, obviously, because my car's still illegal. And I'm going to go pay the fines. I got like three parking tickets and one driving without my license fine. So I'm um, going to go do that and then, um, you know, go back to the doctor and then head home. And then tomorrow I'm going to get the car e-tested and I'm going to get my plates re-upped and everything's going to be good. So trying to get all this knocked out all at once. And I shaved and I brushed my teeth and I washed my ass. So, you know, doing all the regular things that regular folk do. All right, so I'll be back at you. So, we got the fine paid for the expired plate and the two parking tickets. And um, I went grocery shopping and got some groceries and some different house necessities and stuff like that. And now I am back at the doctor's office and I'm gonna go sit my ass in there and patiently wait my turn so I can get my foot blasted. And uh, yeah, so, and then I'm headed home. All right. Hey, so, um, yeah, I just stopped at Shoppers Drug Mart, grabbed a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I needed to get a pumice stone, apparently, um, because I saw the doctor, got my wart, uh, sprayed with, you know, liquid nitrogen and all that shit, and, uh, I guess you gotta rub it down with a pumice stone. What I've been doing is just putting duct tape on it and just letting it, you know, with the duct tape on it 24 hours a day. It's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, um, just put the duct tape on at night. And then before going to bed, before you put the duct tape on, you're supposed to like um, hit it with the pumice stone and do all that types of shit. I haven't been doing that, so I got to start doing that. And um, yeah, I'm on my way home now. I'm on the east side of the city here. It's likely that I'm not going to get, you know, a fine or anything. Uh, but I got a few more blocks to go before I get home. So yeah, all right. Hey, what's up? So, uh, we're back home here. It is, I don't know, uh, 5.37 p.m., so about 5.30, you know, almost 6 o'clock in the evening. And uh, we got home safely, no hiccups, no fines, no anything like that. So I was really good, got a lot done today. Uh, you know, some video editing and some different stuff. And then uh, doctors, grocery store, uh, and all the stuff I needed to get, paid my fines, and then all that sort of stuff, and, you know, back home. Uh, right now, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Stronic and play some basketball. Uh, Stronic has basketball from 6.30 till 10.30, and it's pretty reasonably priced. It's a city-owned uh, community center, and it's like two fifty. you know what I mean, uh, to go play basketball, so that's pretty good. And, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to head over there in a little bit and go there for 6.30. Um, I can't bring the camera. Uh, there's just... It's super packed, tons of people, and uh, there'd be no room for me to ever try to like film a workout or do anything like that. And I'm just going there to work out. I probably won't get a run. Everyone always asks me to play all the time, and I don't really play. Um, there's a reason for that, but I, you know, that's that's another day, another life. I'm gonna get into that. I still do play. I shouldn't say that, but um, it's just rare, you know. Because, well, maybe I'll speak on it a little bit. A lot of people like to argue and fight and waste time instead of like work really hard with basketball and try to get better and uh well i just saw a police car drive by so that makes me kind of nervous uh, about going tonight but um yeah so it's, it's just something like that you know and uh, it's nobody's fault or anything like that you know it's, i'm just trying to change the culture so i try to work really hard all the time in the gym every time i'm there and uh people notice and um they like my game and they want me to play and you know i i do here or there but uh, I really got to trust people, and I, I always play with the understanding that uh, we're friends before and after, and that friends can challenge each other, and friends, you know, can, can compete a little bit, but within the bounds of cooperation, and that we're not there to hurt each other or anything. So um, I always, you know, play with mutual respect when I do actually get a chance to play. Um, but more so, I'm always there just working out really hard with the six-pound uh, medicine ball and, and my basketball in the bag and doing my little thing, you know, running around being crazy. Um, but yeah, so, um, that's what it is. I'm going to try to get a run in tonight, maybe play some basketball, didn't get a workout. So yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, take care. Hey, what's up? So I'm home now. I went to basketball at Stronic and it was lovely. Uh, the gym was packed like always. We have a wonderful basketball community here in London at Stronic, especially on Friday nights from 6.30 to 10.30. We have community basketball there and there must have been like 60 people in the gym or, you know, somewhere in between 40 or 60 at different times. And, uh, on the one side of the gym, we have uh, some of the older guys, some professional players, people that played overseas, and some young high school players that are pretty good. And they play on this side. That's the side that I play on when I'm playing five-on-five. Five. 
On the other side, we have some of the younger kids and stuff like that, and uh, they play three on three or five on five, and they're still really good players over there too. And that's the side that I go to when I'm doing a lot of training and stuff like that. So it's, you know, just that sort of thing. And uh, shouts out to that community. I got much respect for everyone there. I love them all. You know, I, I know hundreds of these players because, you know, I've been playing for over 20 years in the community here and uh, got much respect and love for every single one of them. And, um,. So yeah, I'm 34 years old and, uh, you know, I was dribbling around in the house last night till almost 2 in the morning here and then uh, went and did that a couple hours, so I'm kind of stiff and sore now and I'm going to have to take a shower and just take it easy, rest my body a little bit and do some editing. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you know, really love the community, really love being on the court with everyone there and it's always a blast and a good time talking to people, helping them work on their game, working on my game, all types of shit, you know, catching up on good times in life and, and that sort of stuff. And um, actually I stopped at Taco Bell on my way home. This is the first time I've been at Taco Bell in over seven years or longer. And uh, it wasn't bad. I got a um, spicy double crunch wrap supreme uh, or whatever the fuck it is. And uh, yeah, it wasn't bad, man. I forgot basically a fork. And uh, so I couldn't have my tuna sandwich if I wanted to. And then so I had to order food on my way home because I was starving and it was a long time since I had eaten. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to take a shower here, and then I'm going to get back to you and close off the vlog for the day. And if anyone's wondering out there, these are my current uh, indoor hoop shoes. I have the uh, Brand Black Ethers. Brand Black Ethers. These are uh, olive green, and uh, they're really great. They have the uh, outsole of the J Crossover 3, and uh, also the cushioning setup, which is Brand Black's Black Foam. It's got a force vector plate in there, so it's nice and, and stable, and you can actually see it on that side. And uh, classic looking shoe here, you know, classic pattern. Uh, some suede felt type of stuff, and then some synthetic leathers, leather pieces. And this is a great shoe for indoors. This has never done me wrong, and the cushion setup is just great. Uh, it's much lighter than Boost. It's a little bit more bouncier than Bounce, and uh, really enjoy it. So yeah, this is my indoor shoe, and the shoe review will be coming soon this weekend, hopefully. <clears throat> oh yeah, one thing about uh, basketball in uh, really cold climates. Uh, my hands rip open all the time. So like, see, I don't know if you can see that, but that's just like cuts on my hand. I was dribbling the, the medicine ball and the ball with the plastic bag, and my hands just get so dry that they just rip open. The worst ones generally happen at my uh, fingernails. At the points right here those are the worst ones because then you can't really touch stuff but uh yeah no it just happens all the time and the way to get rid of that is um some really thick kind of lotion like a vaseline a coca butter shea butter anything like that coconut oil coconut oil is not the greatest actually it's kind of too thin but something that's a little more thick maybe coconut butter that sort of stuff you know what i mean so um you put that all over your hands and that'll really help and it'll uh all the cuts will go away quickly you know what i mean so you can just Go about your business and keep on hooping. And I had already shot this outro, but I guess I had nacho cheese all up in my face on my grill and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I figured I would shoot this again. And so this is going to be me signing off. This is the end of this vlog. I kind of took you all around today throughout my day, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, holler at me. Let me know what you want to see from these vlogs. Um, I have a couple things scheduled. I would like to do a performance shoe review uh, this weekend if I can, uh, performance review on the brand Black Ether, my indoor shoes, and then, um, I would also like to take you guys to gymnastics Sunday, because I haven't been to gymnastics for a long time, and it's super fun, um, yeah, so this is it, uh, this is the end of this day, this is the end of this life, and, uh, follow me if you want to follow yourselves, hopefully we get there together, this is the last Uchiha, take care, see you next time. Trying to find some answers. Can't get it going offensively. Brown back the other way. Lots of contact, no foul call, but a reach called on Brown. He drew the contact between him and Devin Mason. Devin White, excuse me. And Jones would check back for the Express, along with Mike Poole. Mike Poole in front of you guys. That's Brown's third, team's third in the quarter. Express looking for answers here offensively. We need to get going hurt. In a hurry, that is. Nortman able to back down Mason and finish with the right hand. 